Hello everybody. Meta AI, which is the company behind Facebook and Instagram, has just come out with a new AI model called Segment Anything Model. Basically using this, you can segment out different sections of any image and cut out parts of it like they are doing right here. I'm going to test out this model at five different levels of complexities. First, I'm going to try out this board, which has a bunch of different kinds of food items. Next, I'm going to try out this image of a pasta, which has no proper endings because you don't know where this strand ends. And these ones are a bit blurred, so this will be a good test. Next, I'm going to try out this street in India, which has a lot of things going on, including shadows and different kinds of people. After that, I'm going to try out this dance troupe, which can be tricky because all of them are wearing this black outfit, so it can be hard to find the borders. They also have different kinds of things they are wearing on their faces, so this will be a good challenge. And finally, this is going to be the hardest one I'm going to try out, where they have a lot of different people in this picture, and I want to see if I can isolate each of them individually. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, I recommend you go to my playlist section and find the videos that are most relevant to you. So at this time, the demo version of Segment Anything by Meta AI is accessible on segment-anything.com. After you get there, there's no real account you need to create. You can just click on this demo button right here. And Meta has a bunch of different images that you can play around with. For example, if you click on this dog right here, and now when you hover over this picture, it says on the top that Sam is running in this browser and it's detecting different segments of this picture. Now for example, if you want to isolate just these sunglasses, when I click on the sunglasses, it provides this option on top which says cut out the selected object. You can also click this button on the left which says cut out object and when you click it, it's now available in your cutouts. Now this is kind of like a clipboard for all your cutouts. If you want to download this as an image, you can just click right click and save image as I'm going to say sunglasses and when you click save, this image now saves as this backgroundless sunglass. So you can place this on any other image and it's going to just merge in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out different parts of these five images that I just showed you and create a clipboard of some sort. To get started, I'm going to click upload right here and select this one called cheese. All right, I have my image uploaded. Now, as soon as you start hovering over this image, individual sections of this image will start getting segmented. For example, if you hover over this tiny cherry tomato right here, it gets selected. But also, there's these sprinkles of flour right here that also get selected. You can also try this slice of garlic right here and this one right there. From this image, let me try cutting out these pieces of basil leaves. So I'm just going to click on that and it gets selected. Now I'm just going to click cut out object and it adds those basil leaves to my cutouts. Let me try this other piece of basil leaf as well. So I'm just going to go over that. You see how different basil leaves get selected differently, but also they get selected together if you place your mouse in the right place. So right here, if I click that and go to cut out object and click there. The second piece of basil leaf now has also been selected. Let me try the next image, which is the pasta. All right, as soon as I start hovering over it, different segments of this image start getting selected. My concern was the ones in the background might not be detected, but I think I was wrong. But I think it's doing a pretty good job in identifying even the blurry pieces of pasta. For this one, I'm just going to select the one in front and click cut out object. The only thing I find interesting here is it does not detect the shadows as something worth segmenting out. For example, if you focus on this piece of sunlight, it does segment those out, even these ones on the right. But the whole shadow as a whole sort of gets ignored. So that's something interesting to see. All right, let me try the next image. This time I'm going to go with this street in India. This can be pretty tricky because there's a lot of objects here. Let me try going deep on these windows. So every single window pane gets selected when I hover over it. Let me try this broken piece of window. Yeah, that gets selected too. When I go over these signboards, I think the letters individually do not get selected, but the whole block of signboard does get selected. It does detect each of these chunks of words as I go right over them. All right, let's see what happens when I go inside this shop. Okay, so this person, the shopkeeper gets selected, but his hair and face gets selected differently. 
it also does not do a good job with these things that are hanging because the whole block gets selected together the same things with these bags of chips the chips do not get selected individually but the whole block of chips does get selected now let's look at a tourist and her bag so her backpack gets selected I see that the headscarf here does get selected as a whole but if I just want to isolate this clock on the headscarf I don't think that will work so I think objects as a whole works but maybe graphics on the objects might not work same goes for this guy right here I think his shirt and his face get selected differently actually that's interesting when I hover over the face his hand also gets selected so it seems to identify skin tones or body parts together so it's identifying that this is a part of his body and so is his arm so this gets selected together and his shoes get selected individually as well what i'm trying to do is to find a spot where i can get the whole person and cut the whole person out versus just parts of his body let me see if i can isolate this lady I think I found that pretty easily so if I click on this button right here this whole lady gets segmented out and now I can cut out that object all right now let me try the dance group when I do my hovering I think each of the characters are isolated pretty well I think this whole person can get cut out pretty easily but it will be a challenge to get his face scarf together you see how part of his face scarf gets selected but i can't get the rest of it which is near his neck so i think this might be a tricky one because i can't get this whole face net thing out together let me try some of the blindfolds right here okay it does select the red blindfold right there but i want to try to see if i can get the whole group together but actually there's a different functionality for that that is the box functionality which I'm going to show in a different video where I can select segments of the picture using a box tool but for this video I'm just going to try segmenting out individual things so the more times I click there's no way to remove my selections I've been trying my control Z I've been doing my escape button I haven't found a place where I can remove my selections you see every time I click there's a new selection that keeps happening and it kind of reselects the same section that I keep selecting let me try this lady right there I'm not sure if that is a functionality or a bug but if I select these people the things that are on the other side keep getting selected all right I think I tried a bunch of things I tried adding a mask and I tried removing an area I want to show these functionalities properly in a different video but I want to just see what happens after this mess of clicks that I did and see what gets cut out it seemed to have selected different sections of this dance troupe but I think that's one way to reset your picture if you tried clicking a bunch of places you can just cut out what you got selected and that way you can restart again so now that my past clicks has been cut out I can select this character right there all right for the last image I'm gonna try that crowd picture which has a lot of characters so now when I hover over the image all these people keep getting selected I'm gonna actually try cutting out all the people's who are getting bothered by the sun like this lady so I'm gonna click her and cut that out okay there's this guy these guys need to have bought their own hats all right there's this lady to finish off let me try getting this guy with the binoculars all right I have four objects that I selected all right now I have a bunch of these images which I have segmented out using Meta's segment anything tool now if I want to place them on a thumbnail on Canva for example I can just drag these right there let me start with this piece of pasta let me shape this a little bit right there now let me add this guy with the binoculars because he wants to look at that pasta let me add my dancer right on top of the pasta and let me 
do some seasoning with some basil leaves now i forgot to add the indian lady and to top it off i'm just gonna add this dog watching the dancer through his red sunglasses all right i was just having some fun but as you see i just cut out all of these characters from five different images to create this dancer dancing on a pasta surrounded by basil leaves and these people are looking at this dancer from the left and the right and this was just designed on the fly i did not plan this out but as you see this segment anything tool can be super helpful if you find some specific part of any image that you want to use in your design so i think there's a lot of potential in this tool i don't know if meta wants to monetize it or how this will be available but at this time this is free there are some other functionalities uh, that are also pretty cool in the segment anything software but i'm going to show them in future videos but that's all i have for today's video i hope you got some value from it and if you did enjoy it make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel i have a lot more videos coming up till the next one thank you so much